Hey guys. Welcome to Couple. Please like and subscribe if you like the video. President Donald Trump was directly involved in meetings where officials decided to move forward with a controversial plan to build a new FBI headquarters in the nation's capital, according to a government report issued Monday. The report from the General Services Administration Inspector General cites two White House meetings in January and June of this year in which Trump participated. In the first of those meetings, participants agreed to move forward on a proposal to demolish the existing J. Edgar Hoover building in downtown Washington and build a new headquarters in the same spot. Constructed in several phases starting in 1967 and dedicated in 1975, the Hoover Building was the first purpose-built headquarters of the FBI since its founding in 1908. According to the GSA, its location along Pennsylvania Avenue and placement directly across from the Department of Justice facilitated easy communication between the agencies and helped to revitalize D.C.S. downtown area. While there is widespread agreement that the Hoover Building a crumbling, sprawling piece of brutalist architecture does not meet the FBI's needs, the plan to keep the FBI in Washington scraps a long-held plan to move the FBI to the Maryland or Virginia suburbs. Rep. Gary Connolly, a Northern Virginia Democrat who supports moving the FBI to the suburbs, called for additional congressional hearings to uncover the extent of Trump's involvement. He said the project is rife with conflicts of interest for Trump, whose Trump International Hotel is essentially across the street from the FBI headquarters. When we began this investigation, the prospect that President Trump was personally involved in the government-led redevelopment of a property in close proximity to the Trump Hotel was dismissed as a conspiracy theory, Connolly said.